The process for This Is What It Feels Like project took about three weeks to build. Once the initial nine by three foot hallway structure was built, my partner and I, then we were able to go and paint the entire structure. And the idea was that we wanted it to be completely blacked out so that the person experiencing the exhibit was able to focus solely on the experience and not be distracted by anything else. Once we finished painting, I was then able to have a friend come in and help me install shelving units for the next process, which was the audio installation. The audio aspect of this is essentially the essence of the exhibit. And what we were able to do was we went into a recording studio and enlisted 10 men, no actors, to record catcalls that we had taken verbatim from women's experiences. And it was so emotional and so powerful to see how these men were reacting to experiencing what women experience on a day-to-day -day basis. It was incredible. Hey, I'm fucking talking to you. I'm fucking talking to you. Hey, come sit on it. I want to fuck. Hey, baby. How's it going? How you doing? What's going on? What's your problem? You need to smile more. How are you, sweetie? How you doing, sugar? Let me lick your clip. I'll suck your pussy for free. Can I touch your boobs? Please? Just once. Show me more skin, baby. Fuck you, slut. Fuck you, bitch. Wanna fuck? Yeah, I'm high fucking you. You're sexy. Fuck you then, you ugly. How do you feel? I went back to a time in my, my life where, like, my. Uh, weird. Like, my friend uh, used to be abusive to his, his girlfriend. And I didn't realize it until just now when I was actually reading it and, like, recording it. Like, the, some of the shit that, like, that was said is. I don't know, hit real close to freaking home. Like, uh, yeah, get, hey, get in the car. Like, 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 when I started reading it and like hearing myself say it, I, I felt like a kid, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, like I was like almost mimicking a real thing that I've seen and I kind of felt kind of bad for it, but sorry. No, thank you so much. Seriously, it means so much to All have right. you be so vulnerable and say those things. Put me back in those, my shoes, like, back in my mindset in the past and I didn't, I didn't like it. Yeah. I didn't like it and I'm really happy I've changed. But some of the things that, are, that were on the, was on the paper was just, I mean, <laughs> it's disgusting. I, you know, need, need a shower afterwards. It's been really intense, especially being in the room, listening to each men come in here and do it differently and to listen to how they would do it. And it's just chilling. It definitely showcases that this is a reality most women live with and it's so far removed from reality for most men. And so, um, I, I don't know, it's something I'm probably gonna have to process for quite a while. It's been really surprising seeing how the men have been reacting. Um, I was not expecting men to be so emotional about this, um, partly because I had sent over the script and, and they, they knew what they were going to say and, and I asked them like, you know, let me know what you're, you feel comfortable saying. So I was very, very surprised to see men walking out of the booth tears in their eyes. Um, some men have had to stop midway in, during the recording process. Um, and I think that speaks volumes for just uh, the different realities for men and women and what we face. After the experience in the recording studio and witnessing how men were reacting to hearing themselves say these cat calls, I was even more determined to continue on with this project because I knew it was going to resonate. As soon as the exhibit opened, there was a line. I think people automatically were curious as to what this project was. 
And then people started talking and, and then people started telling their friends and the line just kept forming. We were getting men coming up to us in tears, hugging us, thanking us for this education and for letting them know how it really felt. We were getting women messaging us and coming up to us and telling us like, thank you. Thank you for finally using this voice. Thank you for finally giving me a voice. It was incredibly powerful to see how it resonated just within my own community. My hope for This Is What It Feels Like Project is to just create a dialogue, a discourse regarding how we as a society treat women in the hopes that we can educate men and break this structure that has been so embedded in our culture in the hopes that we can just treat women better.